Hi boys and girls, welcome to Writer's Workshop. So let's get started by remembering the special parts of writing that we need to remember when we're writing a sentence. So it's reminding us to use capital letters. So we use capital letters at the beginning of our sentence and for special words. So let's go ahead and mark that we've reminded ourselves about that. And then we need spaces. So you need space, you can use your pinky, remember, between each of your words so they're not all pushed together. And then last but not least, we need punctuation. And we learned about a lot of different types of punctuation last week. We learned about a period, which means stop, like which the sentence is over. So we say stop. We learned about a question mark that we use when we're asking a question. And my favorite one is we learned about what we use when we're excited or when someone's talking really loud, we use an exclamation point, just like that. Okay, so those are the types of punctuation that we can use in our sentences. So today's reading lesson is all about using details. So let's look at the poster about details. So it says here, I can add details, and that's what we're going to be working on today. We're going to, it talks about using many colors. So we see greens and blues and reds and browns and whites and yellows. They used a lot of colors in their pictures. And when I see your picture today, I also want you to use a lot of colors. So today we're just going to be focusing on our illustrations in a short sentence, okay? So this here says, adding speech bubbles. So this guy says, yee-haw, that's what his speech bubble says. So a speech bubble isn't a full sentence, it's just a little bitty word or just a little phrase that they're saying in the story. So make characters move. So this guy here is working on the tractor. So he's got movement. We can tell what he is doing. And then have facial expressions. So this guy right here has got a big smile. So that's a facial expression. So we're going to use some details. Let's see. I'm going to write a sentence and then we'll add an illustration and add all kinds of details, okay? Let me go ahead and get out my markers. So I'm using lots of colors, just like you guys. So I've got my markers here. I'm gonna use a bunch of colors. And I am going to say, let's see, I am at the park, okay? Let's write that first. I am at the I'm going to go ahead and restart that because I didn't give myself enough room. There we go. I am, and am is a sight word, am at the, I am at the, which are all sight words, park, park, and then I need a period at the end. So let's check my sentence before I add my illustrations. I, capital letter, right? Space, 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 period. I am at the park. So I'm gonna draw a picture of me at the park. So I'm gonna put my ink marker down and I'm gonna get out some different colors. So let's add some details to show what is at the park. So I'm gonna draw a swing set. I'm going to draw a slide. There's my ladder to get up to the slide. Got a slide. I'm gonna draw me. So I'm gonna be going down the slide. So I'm showing movement because I am doing something. I am going down the slide and I'm going woo. I'm going to make a facial expression to show that, show that I'm happy. So I've got movement, I've got details, and let's go ahead and make my speech bubble. So just like I said, we're going to make my person say, woo. So I've got a speech bubble here. Woo. Woo. Awesome. So we have a speech bubble, we have movement, I have a facial expression, I've got details so you can tell where I am. Let's use a darker green. 
And we've got all kinds of stuff going on. I can draw what time of day it is. So if I draw the sun up in the sky, my reader knows that it's a sunny summer day. You don't see any snow on the ground. So we have a picture with detail. So I am at the park. I have movement, speech bubble, lots of colors. So this is what I want you guys to do. I want you to draw the same sentence as Mrs. Bolden, and I want you to draw an illustration of what you like to do at the park. I am at the park. So I want you to write, I am at the park, and draw me a picture of what you like to do at the park. Make sure to add lots of detail so I can tell you're at the park. And don't forget your speech bubble. Okay, thanks boys and girls. Bye.